The realism of a survival game is one of its best features. Much of that results from the survival game's aspects being rooted in things you would encounter in reality. Additionally, it frequently entails making things difficult. These top 5 survival games will really put your skills to the test. 1. Green Hell Green Hell is essentially the pinnacle of what a true survival game should be. Nothing about it is fanciful. You are the only one battling the weather. The Amazon rainforest is a harsh environment where almost anyone may murder you. This game has a ton of harmful status effects that can be applied. Without boiling the water, you run the risk of contracting a parasite infection, suffering cuts and scrapes from falling from great heights, picking up leeches as you walk through water sources, and even developing a rash if you come into touch with certain insects like ants and wasps. Learning how to handle the different illnesses you're essentially unable to avoid while traveling through the jungle is a key aspect of the gameplay in Green Hell. All of these things won't necessarily kill you, but they might accumulate over time and do serious damage to you. Another element of the game is sanity. If you don't take steps to feel safe and healthy, all of these ailments may gradually sap your mental stability, and eventually your guy will lose all motivation to live. The game still has all the typical survival components, such as building a shelter, foraging for food, and even violent Amazonian natives that you must deal with. 2. Medieval Dynasty This is a different kind of survival game than Green Hell, but it's nonetheless realistic in its own way. Instead of playing as a lone survivor stranded in a strange location, you take on the role of a man who flees his war-torn home and travels north to a safer location where he can begin a new life in a lush valley. In fact, the goal of the game is for you to establish your own dynasty, so you are not at all alone in this situation. Naturally, as is typical of games of this nature, you essentially begin with nothing more than the clothing on your back, and from there, you develop a full settlement. You can build homes to entice newcomers to move into your town, hunt, trade with other established communities, and follow an elaborate plot that combines tutorial and RPG quests. Compared to other survival games on this list, Medieval Dynasty has more simple survival mechanics, but what makes it so intriguing is how you build your own community and all the elements that go with it. It is a tiny bit more lenient when it comes to survival than something like Green Hell, but that is only because you also have to care about the survival of your primary character. This game is a particularly intriguing addition in the survival game genre because you have to consider a whole town. 3. Project Zomboid This survival game has felt like it has been in early access for a very long time, but the creators keep working on it, making changes and adding new scenarios. The basic notion is unrealistic. It's a zombie survival game, and since zombies don't actually exist, it goes without saying that you're basically screwed. However, what makes this game so wonderful is that it takes the premise and tries to make it as realistic as possible. This survival game is very challenging. Even just surviving for a few days feels like a major accomplishment. The objective of the game, which is to simply survive, something that is much easier said than done, is to play as a lone survivor at the very beginning of a zombie apocalypse. In this survival game, zombies are merciless, and it only takes a handful of them to kill you. Close quarters combat is highly frightening since you can be killed by more than just a bite. Even a small cut might cause you long-term issues, especially now that medical supplies are so hard to come by. Yes, the graphics are pretty simple, but the simulation is extremely detailed. Along with a complicated set of status screens that provide virtually all the information you could ever need to know about your character's health, there is an emotion tracker that almost resembles the Sims that displays the many emotions your character is experiencing. All of this is to indicate that death occurs frequently in Project Zomboid. Despite its unattractive appearance, it is undoubtedly the most realistic zombie game available thanks to its intricate and sophisticated mechanisms. 4. The Forest The level of realism in The Forest isn't quite as high. It's more of a horror game with survival components than the other way around, compared to titles like Green Hell, but that doesn't stop it from being a fantastic survival game. In contrast to the majority of the games on our list, this one actually features a very complex plot in which you take the role of a guy whose plane crashes on an unknown island. The basic objective of the game is to explore the island, unearth its secrets, and ultimately retrieve your son because you miraculously survived but he has gone missing. However, given the size of the island, if you want to survive, 
you'll need to build a shelter and go on the quest for food. This will allow you to spend the nights safely camped out. Although it's not a very challenging survival simulation, there are still enough of things to be concerned about since after a while on the island, the locals grow tired of your presence and will come at night to kill you with an increasing number of men the longer you stay. In this game, staying fed isn't enough to ensure your survival. Additionally, you must defend yourself from attacks by the island's hideous monsters. If you think the folks above earth are awful, just wait until you see what they keep below dig. The way that the forest combines horror and survival is what makes it so fantastic. Although it isn't the most accurate, it is among the most fun and has a very realistic feel to it. It also functions just as well if you choose to play it as a conventional survival game without the native assaults. 5. The Long Dark Another long-running survival game is presented here, but like the others, it is continually being updated and improved. Although, The Long Dark isn't the most realistic simulation on this list, it does a good job of capturing the desperate feeling of survival. Your only objective in the game, which is set in the far reaches of Canada after an odd phenomena renders the entire region electricity free, is to live. All you can do is keep attempting to survive as the temperature drops further and deadly animals like wolves and bears become more ferocious and aggressive. In The Long Dark, staying warm is paramount, but everything is transitory. Supplies are scarce, clothes steadily deteriorate from use and abuse, and fires ultimately burn out. Because once you pick a spot clean, that's it, you can only stay in one place for so long before having to leave. Therefore, even while the game's survival simulation itself isn't particularly detailed and intricate, the ongoing necessity to maintain and refill your equipment continually puts you behind schedule. Everything in this world ultimately fails, therefore if you want to genuinely survive, you have to stay one step ahead of the problem. When you're just playing in sandbox mode, the experience of playing this game can be depressing and isolating. If you prefer a more supervised experience, the campaign is surprisingly well developed, and challenge scenarios further deepen the experience. There are therefore a lot of things to do here. Although it's not as complex as some of the other survival games on this list, this one really captures the sense of isolation and desperation. It's a game that's laser-focused on surviving in a harsh winter setting. What do you think about the top 5 realistic survival games you should play? In the comment area below, let us know which survival game you find more realistic. Thanks for watching.